Hey everyone, welcome back. This is part two of my old year versus new year reading for a Facebook friend. And I'm just going to put all the cards back I have already as a matter of fact. And I'm now going to be shuffling again. Because we want to get some more information. We want to do another six cards and see what else is coming in for you. So far we've seen you leaving behind toxic people, toxic friendships, toxic connections, relationships, emotional abuse, depression, anxiety. Okay, wow, we, Knight of Cups. This card jumped out. And it is a good card. You could have new love coming in for you next year. Wow, there's the Fool, which is Pisces energy. Hmm. It's funny, when I was doing part one, I was thinking to myself, I haven't seen any messages about love because I know your history. I've done readings for you. I know more or less what's been going on. And I spoke too soon because there is a love situation right here. Judgment. Scorpio card. But in this case, it's not referring to a Scorpio. It's referring to a rebirth, an awakening. And we already said that basically you will experience an awakening of sorts. Because you're working on yourself. You're really working on improving yourself, bettering yourself. Bettering is a better word. Um, Ace of Pentacles refers to with Five of Cups. Okay, you're releasing sadness. I'm not going to go into a discussion just yet. Let me just get the rest of the cards out. But I want to say that the message about you leaving depression behind is apparent. I mean, depression is not something that just goes away. I would know. It's something that's kind of forever there at the back, in the background, and then now and again it resurfaces, and then it fades away again and resurfaces again. It is a chronic condition. As much as we don't want to admit that, it is something that is not just going to go away. But certain days are better than others. I just feel like you went through a lot of this, this year, and that is changing. That is all I can say. Alright, Eight of Wands reversed. The Sun reversed. The bottom of the deck, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, divine timing. Three of Cups. Wow, we a reason to celebrate. Friendship. I know you have one or two close friends that you really are very close to. And um, I see you just being joyful with friends, like having a drink, celebrating something. Just maybe celebrating life, celebrating freedom, happiness, strength. Wow, that is lovely energy, seriously. All right, so I can't tell you exactly when, I can't give exact time frames, but we've seen the number seven quite a bit. We've also seen the number five. And we've seen the number eight. So it could be five to eight weeks from now that things start really developing. I don't want to say months. Could be months. But I don't want to be the one to say, okay, within eight months. Because that seems like a very long time to wait for something. But at the same time, Spirit is saying you need patience. Because our timing is not the same as divine timing. After all, 
Okay, so definitely you're walking away from this towards strength. You might, if you haven't already met the person, you might meet someone new or you might enter into a new romantic relationship because you have the Knight of Cups here. He comes in with the message of love. A declaration of love, an offer of love. And immediately after this card, you have the Fool, which is saying, Take a chance on someone. Take a chance on love. Take a chance on a person who may not be your usual type. But you never know what might happen. Because this person could be the reason why you end up believing in love again. And it might be someone that you haven't even met yet, which is why I'm saying just check the time frame 5 to 8. Because you've got a lot of number 8s here. You've got two 8s in this part of the video alone. You have strength and you have 8 of wands reversed. And then... In the previous reading, you had two number sevens. So I want to say, let's be safe and say like five to eight weeks or five to eight months from now, things will definitely have progressed. As we said, you're leaving behind disappointment, loss, sadness, depression, anxiety, loneliness, despair. And you're going towards a new beginning. I have to tell you that the Ace of Pentacles often can also refer to, to love. Although Pentacles are more connected to work and finance. Or finances rather. Um, in this sense, when it talks about love, it talks about a stable connection coming in. It speaks about something valuable, something long term, something serious, not just like a fling or something like that. But then we also can't ignore the fact that it can be speaking about a new job or new money coming in or a new avenue of income. And it's simply in reverse because you're not seeing it yet or you're not expecting it. And Spirit is saying it needs to be a surprise. I don't know why I'm so thirsty today. I don't know if the person I'm doing the reading for is thirsty on their side. Um, I don't know what it is. And I'm not talking excessively, so I don't know what this is all about. All right, you have eight of ones reversed, which usually speaks about a block in communication. It speaks about shutting someone off, shutting someone out, like one-sided communication. I don't know if this is you blocking communication coming from someone, or if it's saying that you have no time or you will have no time in the new year for nonsense. You don't want something superficial. You don't want this back and forth exchange if you're not interested in the person. For instance, if there's someone on Facebook who is interested in you in a romantic sense and you don't feel the same about this person, I feel like you'll tell them straight away. It's a little bit of a contradiction here because Spirit's saying don't, don't just completely limit your options, but then at the same time go with your gut. So if something is telling you that this certain person is not the one for you, then trust that. I do feel like if your gut tells you a certain person is not for you, then you'll definitely tell them straight up, listen, sorry. 
I'm not interested. And then, of course, with the sun in reverse, you definitely have happiness coming your way. You will have so many reasons to be happy in the new year. Even if you're not seeing half the reasons yet, there is definitely a big change happening for you. And it's mostly related to love, to personal improvement and growth, to spiritual awakening, or a spiritual awakening rather, friendship, positivity, divine timing, romance, work, wow, all that is coming in for you. Okay, let's stop the video there and get to part three. Thank you very much for watching.